Okay, so I wanted to make a X Max running video. Yeah, an X Max running video. Well, not really. I never wanted to make an X Max running video. Not even a minute, not a second. But I just rebuilt this thing. This is my 6S X Max, my first one. I got three of them. I got this one and two other. 8S rollers that I bought from eBay that I pretty much went to town on without upgrades. This one never saw any of that for the longest. It's just been sitting in the shed in pieces. Mainly because, yeah, I bought this thing when it, during the first when, a few days it was released. And I got it out the box, it was nice, shiny, and new, but the blue body, and it looked awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was an X-Max. I was one of the first people with X-Max. And it didn't work. The ESC didn't work at all. I was pissed. I got it, it came with two 5,000 milliamp 3S. 25C, whatever the hell, Traxxas throws in their little package deals with these things when they first come out. Well, I don't know if they do that anymore, but yeah, they did that with this one and it still costs 800 bucks. So I'm like, damn, it comes with a, two batteries and a charger for free? And it's 800 bucks? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, still. Well, this truck in itself. This X Max, not an X Max in general, because I know people will misunderstand that. But this car, this thing that you see in front of me, was is one of the five worst RCs I ever bought. This thing that cost me more money than I can't think of a car that cost me more money than this. Thing. I can't. Oh boy, I don't even know where to begin with it. Okay, so the ESC didn't work. So I called Traxxas up. Some of them I just bought this thing. I was stuck as heck to try to get it to run. And it came about. I charged them all up. Put it all together. Hit it out. Mash the button on the ESC. ESC stops flashing red. I tried to calibrate it with, a, with the transmitter. Nothing. Yeah, so I called Traxxas up. Tell them the whole story, and they want the ESC. So, send them the ESC, and now I'm sitting at home with a X Max with, well, no ESC in it. And I'm like, dang, this sucks. So, that next week, some guys started to have their ESCs blow up on them, and they replaced them with Max 6s. So, oh, oh. Right, I do have a Max 6 sitting around. So I stuff it in this thing. So yeah, I never ran the stock ESC in this truck. Not even the one that Traxxas sent me. I don't even know what happened to it. I probably sold it. Or maybe not. Maybe it's sitting in the bottom of a pit somewhere. But I never ran the stock ESC on this truck. I always had it with the Max 6. So the Max 6 was. So I only met Randall with the Max 6. So yeah. And yes, it does have all the power in the world with the stock motor. The stock 1600 kV motor with the Max 6. And I ran it for that for what? Maybe five, six runs. Maybe about a week's worth before I started hearing the ominous crunching that this car loved to have. The ominous gear diff. Delicious fest. Eight diffs. Okay, how many diffs did this car eat? Probably around 10 sets. 10 sets of stock diffs. Before the Ridiculous Traxxas spiral diff came out. Yeah, I bought a set of those and it ate those too. I looked at the 
deaths when it was all chewed up. And those deaths, they were supposed to be machined. And yeah, they weren't. They were kind of centered just like the, the stock Traxxas garbage that they throw in this. I don't think Traxxas even knows what machine gears are. They don't. They they really don't. They those those gears was a hundred bucks, and, and plenty of people put them in this truck and it and they ate them. The, the truck ate the, the it. Most of them didn't even let us one run. One run, and the, the disc was gone. Hundred bucks. Those are centered dips. They were. You could look at them and see the the, the crappy powder. Oh boy. No, oh, I, I just don't get it. Traxxas just don't understand what a truck this size needs. So they they send me the new ESC and I like okay, throw it and throw it somewhere and never use it. Again. But now I'm got the diff problem. And the, one time I just ran the heck out of it. Just wanted to destroy it after it just ate another set of diffs. So I think it was the, the 8S diffs that I, found, that I finally tried using in this thing. And it ate those too. So I'm like, bump it. Let's just trash the hell out of it. And yeah, I trashed the hell out of it. And after that, the car was in about maybe three or four pieces. The, the Both low casts were smashed. The chassis was broke. The the rear of the car just looked like it had been ran over by a dump truck. And I left it sitting like that for two years. Yep, two years. And then I saw a roll on eBay. And it was an 8S Polo. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's what, 350? Let's, let's go on and buy it and see what happens. I got... I got Mr. 6S sitting over there with its d death rolls. Well, it's, it's, it didn't die already, so it's been sitting over there for two years, so I'm not touching it anymore. I'm not going to even think about touching that thing. So I get the 8S one. I'm like, okay, I can deal with this. This is a nice little model. Comes with its dips. I, I didn't use these dips already and tore them up already. So I put the Max 5 combo in it and... Yeah, tore it up. <laughs> tore up. It didn't even last five minutes before the disc gets something. Yum, yum. So I was about to chuck that too. Until I went on eBay and saw that these, there are helical discs that, I don't know, some China factory that made. So I said, Let's, uh, they're really, really cheap. So let's try them. And I tried them. And they're still in that truck today. Yeah, they're, they've been in that truck for just about what? Over about a year and a half. Yeah, so they've been in that truck for that long. So, yeah, I bought another roller and did the same thing to it. So now I got. Two working X Maxes that never seen the hell that this thing then put me through. So, about maybe four or five days ago, I got all the parts, including those helical diffs, and I fixed this up that's been sitting in the shed for over two years. So now I got three X Maxes. And I had three X Maxes for a long time, but this one, the original six S one, yeah, I, I don't think I ever seen this. It didn't cause me so much pain, so much aggravation. I don't want to even remember it all, but I'll just go over this now. It has to. 
XLX system in it with the mod 1.5 gears. And I even bought some new Duratrax belted tires for one. And these tires are simply damn good, to say the least. I wish Duratrax would make some ape scale belted tires. I was trying to deal with Proline's glorious tires are kind of messed up. Okay, I keep on getting interrupted by these Nitro boys that want to come around here with their little low season crap. Okay, let me go on and finish this. I keep on forgetting where I was. It's been like five minutes since I even started. But, let's see. I got the mild 1.5 gears. And I'm running this thing off of four massive 2S batteries. Yeah, four 2S batteries. Yeah, these 2S batteries have been sitting in this truck for... This truck literally has been sifting just like this for the last two years with these batteries in. So I literally just charge the batteries inside the truck, the straps and everything, and just take the thing out. Well, right after I've been re rebuilt the rear and the front diffs and put these gears in it. Throw with the wheels on it, and that was it. I haven't did anything to it. I haven't even opened these shocks up. And it was steering and running just like everything. Oh yeah, the other thing I did to it was put the, these sway bars on the front and rear, and that's it. As for the body, well you can see it's the Proline body. I got the extra roll cage on the top of it. And it's running lights. But on the inside, it's a mess. Yeah, it's running its own little 3S battery on the inside. Lights everywhere. It's a nice little setup. Yeah, this is one of the first bodies that I have for my 8S truck. Yeah, the 8S truck's never had a Traxxas body. And never going to have a Traxxas body either. But the one thing I do like about this truck is just how it moves, how it handles, how it turns. Traxxas got the suspension on this thing perfect. Absolutely perfect. And yet, I'm going to make the max with the shoddiest suspension they could possibly have. I don't get it. It's supposed to be a mini ass max. Okay, but I'll leave that alone. And I'll leave this and that. It's getting windy out here. Oh, and it's about to rain. So, this is just my first and last X Max running video. Three minutes of running. 14 minutes of talk. So, I just leave it alone. And maybe this one won't eat as many diffs as it did. Alright.